Have you guys ever wondered what the best ankle biter in the game is? Yes, you have. That's why I'm going to show you guys the top 5 ankle biters in Creatures of Sonaria. By the way, I think um, I'm only including tier 1s and tier 2s. There are really good like tier 3s that you can kill Boreals with and whatever. But that's not what I'm going for. I'm just going for ankle small ankle biters, you know? So for number 5, we have Adherkain. It's actually a semi-aquatic creature and this has crazy damage. Now, the thing about ankle biters is that they're really useful because they deal ailments like bleed, injury, and poison, and corrosive, and whatever all at the same time well, that's what all the creatures on this list do except this creature this creature just does a lot of damage like i'm just gonna show you guys real quick i need to use a max growth token adult add her cane this creature actually looks so cool this should be like a death reward but so it has some decent speed it's actually bigger than i thought but it deals 250 damage for a tier 2 that's insane like, look at that baby Vahayax over there. Let's see how I can do against it. This also has some really good stamina. Like, if I run normally, I barely lose any. I can run for a while. But I'm also a semi-aquatic, so I don't think he can run away. But this thing attacks so fast. And look at how much damage I'm dealing right now. He dies in a second. And the thing about this creature is, so it has some decent speed. It honestly doesn't have the best speed. But if you use this correctly, it can be a very good ankle biter. Because it has Hunter's Curse. Which, I'm pretty sure, yeah, just increases your damage. By... Twice, so I would have dealt 500 damage to that Vahayax, and I also bite really fast. And there's also Unbridled Rage, I forgot what that does. Oh yeah, it increases your damage. So you, you can increase it to like 650 total. With a Blood Moon, that would be, that would kill like anything. So yeah, this creature is insanely strong for its size. It can also burrow, so if you really need to escape and it's and you're not that fast, you can easily just burrow. Okay, I'm gonna kill this baby Corthos then. 161 da- okay, 145 damage. That's so good for- for a Corthos. Like, this thing weighs so much. It weighs like 10,000, and I only- and I only weigh like 1,000. And look at this, this they, they die so quick. Like, this creature is insanely overpowered. It deals like no damage against big creatures because they're- they ha they weigh a lot, but I say- I think I can still deal some good damage. Especially if I use my abilities, which I'm not right now. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, it's good at ankle biting because of this. The only issue is its turn rate, so... Oh my god, though. I'm, I'm biting so fast, like... Okay, I'm good. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, where's its head? Oh my god. Oh no, Athleth killed me. Okay, that's fine, but what I mean is that if you can... If I kept attacking that Venuel, it would have died pretty quick. Imagine you losing your Venuel to something like this. It also deals two bleed per hit, so that means he was getting, like, 30 bleed or something. Number four on this list, we have Levone. So it's a flyer, which is really good because the best ankle biters are pretty much flyers because you can just fly out whenever um, you're about to die. But this is extremely fast. It's a really, really fast flyer. And the thing about the Levone. First of all, this creature grows really fast, like 10 minutes. It deals 4 offensive bleed and 2 offensive poison. And it has uh, um, defensive paralyze. So everything will have a hard time killing you if it bites you. But other than that, this creature is really fast. And I'm just gonna make this an elder real quick. Alright, so yeah, this is the elder level. It actually looks pretty cool too. You can make a cool looking skin with this, but it's so fast. And not only that, it deals 200 damage. I feel like this creature should be higher on the list, but I don't know. Because it's just so quick. And I, I feel like this is... Wait, let me just check its turn rate. Okay, yeah, that's probably why it's not so high. It doesn't really turn that fast. But let's see what we can do against the baby Nolok over here. And there's also baby Boreal, so that's cool. 104 damage, but I bite pretty fast. And I'm pretty sure this guy can't kill me. I don't know if uh, Nolok is immune or something to status effects, but I'm probably dealing a lot of status effects right now. Like, he's not even gonna survive if I, le if I leave him alone. There's no way. Yeah, it's pretty overpowered. Die. This guy okay, there we go. Let's see what we can do against a baby Boreal. I think I'm... Okay, this time I know I'm dealing status effects, so I'm probably doing really good right now. He probably has so many status effects. It does ple for like 4 bleed and 2 poison. If I attacked him 10 times, that's 40 bleed. That's insane. Okay, I'm just gonna leave him alone for a bit. I'm gonna heal my frostbite. If he sits down, I could just go for him. He's coming for me. He doesn't know how overpowered I really am. I could just go back under his ankles. Because I'm an ankle biter. Yeah, he's probably gonna die pretty quick. He really can't do anything right now. If you guys are patient, unlike me, it's super easy to kill big creatures like this one. Because he has bleed and poison right now. All you have to do is fly around him. He can't do anything right now. If he rests, I'm just gonna go down and attack him. All he, all he can do is just stay um, standing and try to like look where I'm gonna attack. But that that's where he's dying because he has so much bleed and poison and none of it is healing. Oh my god. Okay, he probably has no stamina now because of all the poison. Okay, there we go. He's dead. But yeah, that's pretty much the level 1A. It's actually so good and it's, it's also really fun to use. 
Okay, I'm glad I added th this to the list. It's actually really good. It's also really underrated. No one ever uses this creature. Number three on the list, we have Perviki. Now, obviously, this is really expected because Perviki is a really good ankle biter. So, Perviki deals 125 damage, which isn't a lot, but... It's really fast, and it deals 2 bleed, 1 injury, and 1 shredded wings. It also has frosty, I don't know what that does, but this creature is really good at ankle biting. And I, th I think it can bite fast. Yeah, oh my god. If you guys can hear the sound, that's really fast. But I'm just gonna kill this uh, thing right here. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a... Uh, I don't know. But nothing survives the Perviki. Look at how fast this thing bites, it's insane. It just bites so fast. And he thinks he can escape, but I'm a Perviki. I run faster than he can. I could just... Yeah. He's so dead. The thing is, I'm not showing, like, these creatures full potentials, but if you guys, like, learn how to use these and, like, keep going around people without them being able to attack you, this is thing, this thing is so overpowered. So, yeah, that is the Perbiki. This one is really short. Number two on this list. You guys are gonna like this one. Pernurex. It's rated, this apparently, the second best creature at ankle biting. It all depends on skill, honestly. But this creature deals four bleed, and not only that, but serrated. Serrated teeth. I don't know. It does, like, the serrated teeth effect. I don't know. But what it does is it makes it hard for the bleed to heal. So, like, when you bite something, you deal four bleed per hit, even though you're so tiny. And it's hard for it to heal, because you put serrated teeth on it. Let me just... Okay, I don't know what this is. But you can, yeah, you can also grab... Oh! Okay, that doesn't help, but... Um, this thing can latch onto other creatures, which is so useful for ankle biting. It also deals shredded wings. Anything that- anything flying, it can't fly anymore. You guys- it also has quick recovery, so it heals fast. You guys can already tell why this creature is like th the second best ankle biter in the game. Now it's just time to test it, I guess. Okay, whoever this thing is- okay, Dantanos. I have wing shredder, so it's not gonna be able to fly. Well, let's see how I can do against the Dantanos. This is gonna be difficult, but I'm already dealing so much bleed. It probably has like 30 bleed by now. And I can grab too! Oh no! Okay, this is the problem about grabbing. You can get stuck, and if I let go, I'm gonna be underground. Yeah, th this keeps happening, which is annoying. But you guys get the point. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it deals so much bleed. Serrated teeth, it's hard to heal. And I already want to get to the first creature on the list, so... Number one on the list. This is apparently the best ankle biter in the game. And it is the Diocrine. Okay, this looks weird. This is the Diocrine. What? Alright, so this Diocrine, 3 bleed, 2 poison, and not only that, but 1 necro poison, and it doesn't matter that it's 1, it's necro poison, they can't use their abilities or anymore and anything, and shredded wings, so anything, so that Dantanos that got me glitched underground earlier, he's not gonna be able to escape this time, but if you guys know how to use this thing, it's insane. It can also burrow. Bleed, necro poison, and poison, w and shredded wings without plushies. You guys can add like a plushy, two plushies that deal two different ailments, and then, and then you would be dealing five ailments. Five status effects, which is crazy. So I'm just gonna try to get a few hits. Oh my god, it's strafing. It's strafing. Wait, 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 I got this, I got this. Let me just get a few hits. Wait, why, why don't I start by killing this angelic warden? That's probably really hard to do. But wait, wait, wait. Baby order. I can kill this. I think this is uh, my friend. I don't know. The name sounds familiar. Oh no! The Dantanos! The Dantanos! Wait, 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 wait. I can get this guy. I can get this guy. Come on. Get a few hits. He's gonna strafe. He's gonna strafe. He does 600 damage to me. This guy can kill me in like two hits. I have to be careful. Alright, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. This is why burrows exist. This is why they're useful. I can just rest here. Alright, I'm back from my burrow. Where is that Dantanos? He should fear me. Should I go? I don't know how strong an angelic warden is, but I'm scared. What is he trying to do? He's trying to use his fire breath. I just shredded his wings. He can't fly anymore. This is so difficult because at that Thanos, I can only attack its these tiny legs. It's so hard. Oh my god, what? How did it even attack me? I don't know. Alright, he's probably like resting or something. Wait, wait, the Angel Gordon. How many bites can I get? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. I can actually ankle bite this Angelic. I'm actually ankle biting him. I'm actually doing so good. And I have my burrow ready. He can't even fly. I'm shredding his wings. <laughs> oh my god, this Diokin is so overpowered. Look at this. He's trying to use his fire breath on me. No way. Oh my god, no! Okay, the Angel Corden died, but the Dantanos killed me because he attacked me from behind. Oh my god, okay, that's crazy. But this thing can like ankle bite and Angel Corden wouldn't even stand a chance. 
I think I also could have killed the Dantanos if I like actually tried my best. And it, it just has the tiny, like a t really tiny hitbox. And I'm not tall enough to hit its tail. But I actually did pretty good against the Dantanos and I easily killed that Angelic Warden. And I just think I can kill so many things as this. So I might make a video on Dioquin gameplay and I'm just gonna be killing like everything in this game. Because it's so overpowered. But yeah, Dioquin and Levone, they're really good because Levone can fly too. But. That those are the five best ankle biters, in my opinion, and in like 50 other people's opinions. But I guess that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and maybe even subscribe.